Hello everyone, today we will do the task 1 uh, in another programming language that is an instruction list. This is not so popular amongst the industries. So, uh, and the instruction list it's quite similar to structured text. You do have conditions in that. And you don't require a software to write the program uh, because as you can see if I write a ladder diagram then it do require uh, some special symbols which are only uh, uh, software environment can provide and like a structured text uh, we just require uh, to play with words and that if you can even type in in wordpad come in here and just copy paste it and run your program so uh, to get a glimpse of what the program is all actually about let's start and type the program say right click section say new section type in task 1 IL for instruction list the language has already been selected so say apply close the window go into the program editor window uh, and it is here where we will be start to typing the program say load and say start button or I am mentioning the condition now that is if my motor 1 is energized and like this in structure text we do mention this condition if you got the structure text you will be easily getting the instruction list it's just the we are providing the instruction in a list format that is a one after another so and it's not case sensitive so here even I can type small stop and you will see uh, it will run okay so then if this condition is satisfied then energize my motor one so in case we an instruction we list we usually uh, refer to or write to as load and set so after the load you should be following a set and the condition comes in between the load and set so if my this condition is satisfied i will set the motor that is the my motor one will be energized or in an on state so we are done with the motor one what about the motor two uh, it should start after a delay so we require a timer go into same follow the same stage go into the ffp assistance type in ton t o n say enter so as you have guessed so far from uh, the structure text input will be motor one and how do we mention time that is t hash 5 s that is 5 seconds and what will it output it will switch on my motor 2 so motor 2 and as usual you don't require an enable button that is this timer will function all time no require for the enable signal for the timer to work so we are done with the program see how easy it was just we have mentioned the instruction in a list format uh, rather than in structure text we just mentioned in a simple text format so let's go ahead and test the program go into the build We'll follow the same step to simulate the program and as you all know the best way to learn is to simulate set the value to 1 0 and come to know about the underlying logic so go into the connect and transfer the project to PLC so basically I'm simulating the program if you don't know and don't forget to cup uh, click up in here run because you people do usually forget to run the project they say why ain't my program running because you will go in here set the value you will say it's not running so go up in here run the program say okay now my program is up and running so let's take the start button set it value to one my motor when he started and um, motor two should start in a while now yeah my motor two has started so let's test the stop button as you can see I haven't I have used a, uh, a smaller letters for the stop it doesn't matter to the program program has recognized the stop button so let's test the value set it value to one but both the motors have stopped so you have seen the basic difference and this is a good language if you like it to go ahead with it for the small program people do prefer structure text and instruction list okay so have, have fun learning uh, have a great day ahead thanks for listening